What's up guys, this is Crazy Awesome, and today we reacted to a warning interview, no warning necessary, just the warning. I've never watched this before, I'm super excited to watch this, so let's just not waste any time, let's just get straight into this. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go. Hi, this is Once to Watch Chef's Choice. I'm Abby Kenna, and today I'm joined by The Warning. Hi! Hi. We are The Warning. I'm Danny. I'm the guitar player. I'm Pow, and I'm the drummer. I'm Ali, and I'm the bass player. Yes. We are very Sisters. happy to be here. Oh my god, that was like the most concise intro I've ever gotten. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I just go here. I'm with the warning. <laughs> silence. <laughs> oh, silence. silence. That was beautiful. Silence. I've been doing um, Spanish lessons in the car while I drive to work. Oh my god. So I've been trying to listen to everything you guys say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are I'm on lesson anything? ten. So okay. I'm, okay. I'm pretty early. What do you know how to say? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> you can say hola. I can say hola. I've been learning um, like the conjugation of verbs. It's actually a very interesting way to learn It's Spanish. so hard. It's so hard. Conjugation yeah. of verbs, like there's just so many options. Like there's so yeah. many tenses to do things and it depends if like it's plural or not plural. I don't know much about Spanish, so it's interesting to hear about this. Plural. Yeah. It's hard. I think I can speak for the three of us. Even though we're Mexican, Spanish was our worst subject in school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. For sure. It's, it's so language. hard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they cracked me up. Oh my gosh. I, I find that so funny. Did you so grow up hard. bilingual? Yes, we yes. did. Yes, I mean, yeah. we are were born and raised in Mexico. We still live in Mexico. Yeah. But the school that we went to was bilingual, so we yeah. learned both languages. Okay, very mm. cool. But Spanish is hard. So kudos it's, to you. I'm okay. trying. I'm like, I live in L.A. It feels like <laughs> yes. a true disservice to live here and not know Spanish. So <laughs> yeah, I get that. Doing my best. But how long are you going to be in the city? Oh, just for a little while, I think. Like uh, a week? I think we have three days left. And we really? Oh, wow. Yes. We were oh, here. Wow. Yeah. Time goes We were, we were so supposed to be here fast. for five days, and I think we've been here for two. Already? Or is it our second day? I don't know. I don't time know. Time is weird. That's like, a short, short trip. Yeah. It yeah. is. It was it's quick, quick little fast. just well, what have, Yeah. What have you been up yeah. to? Well, we've been uh, speaking about our music, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, yeah. Oh, we've been wow. doing promo. Hey. It's fun. I love yes, that. Well, you have your album coming out in about a month. Yes, we do. Contain. So oh I'm God. guessing it's a lot of promo revolving around that. How are you feeling? For sure. Excited more than anything. We can't yeah. wait for this project that we've been working on for the last year. Well, it's it's been a lot of years uh, in the making, but I feel like this last year was kind of like the culmination of all that hard work yeah. and just kind of like record it, write it, everything. And yeah, Keep Me Fed, which is our album, uh, yeah. comes out. June 28th, right? June 28th. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I was like, gonna, like, it's out now. Four yeah. weeks or something like That's that. It's out now. Listen to it. That's so crazy. It is. Yeah. I'm. So you say it's been years in the making. Is that like the writing and recording process or just like all of the work you've been doing as a band leading up to the album? I feel like all the work that we've oh, been yeah. doing. Yeah. Because, I mean, you say that we've been working on this for so long, but I feel like this is the shortest time we've ever worked on an album. I mean, That's you're true. right. Because yeah. we were mm. touring a lot we've been touring so much since like 2022 mm -hmm. so we really wrote the whole thing and recorded the whole thing last year in between tours wow we oh, did cool. like i mean we had little snippets the like, whole thing like that's what i meant past. like there's like songs that started in 2021 but like yeah but like we finished them this year but more than mm -hmm. i feel like we lived 10 years last year so it feels <laughs> like we've been working on this album for a long while but really it was just such a quick process because i we, really feel that we were touring like we yeah. had a month of touring, we would come back one week. We would like write and record three songs, then leave again. Oh my god! Come back and write more and record. Chaos, complete. It was wow. crazy, but I actually really enjoyed the process. Yeah. And you know, it made the album what it is. Good. So yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, destiny. Kind of like fueling off of that chaos for, for sure. sure. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Ooh, what I a nice <laughs> way to put it. Yes, I love it. I do my best. <laughs> I feel like I would have a really hard time like feeling like at home when I come home if I were out of my house mm. so much. Mm. Like, are you? Do you feel mm. grounded? How are you? Like in your head? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, like going back home. <laughs> Very deep. Yeah. Going back home is the best. Yeah, for sure. Must I mean, crazy, I know we're right? always together though. Like we live in the same house and everything. Like you know, after like doing so much with, uh, you know, so much just going different places and then just coming back home, it must be so like, like well, imagine going on like a, like month, two month, three month vacation and then coming back to your home. It's like whoa and I, it's not like a vacation i'm just kind of using this comparison for some reason but anyways notice how quiet ale is i just wanted to say that because it's funny because everyone mentions how ale is the shy but how she's super uh shy um which is true 
and I feel like I didn't really realize how um, how shy Ale was. And um, now that I've watched a lot of these interviews and documentaries, I pay a lot more attention to Ale, and I noticed that she's so much more shy. Like just just look at Ale, like just just listen to her, just listen to. Her. Notice that Pal and um, Danny are doing a lot more of the talking than Ale is, and I never really noticed that because if you look at both Pal and Danny, they both have like such like huge kind of larger than life like personalities. And I'm not saying that Ale doesn't have that either. I'm just saying she she just expresses that in a different way and more so like you know on her bass in her music. But I just find it really interesting to point out how quiet she is, which is I I just find it interesting to point out the best. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know we're always together though. Like we live in the same house and everything, so yeah. we do give our ourselves space when we come back from tours specifically because like after living in a bus together for like a month and a half you're like please let me not see you for a day right <laughs> but, but like i i come back home and i take like three days to be like i am actually yeah. home mm -hmm. i am in it's the same weird. place for more than yeah. 24 hours awesome but honestly it's just very relieving like you're on your bed you have your shower you have your oh, yeah. bathroom you have your food you have like yeah the same environment for mm -hmm. a while mm -hmm. and on, like when we go back home it's not like we go back home for more than like two, two weeks. weeks that's yeah. right like oh. we go yeah. back to touring like mm -hmm. we just came back from a, a month-long tour in europe it was our first night lining tour in the europe casual it was awesome it was like 19 shows in 24 days all of them were wow. sold out it was just insane so many things happened and then we came back to monterrey for like mm -hmm. 10 days and now we're here wow. and then we go back for another like eight days and we leave for japan for like Whoa, half right? a month have you been to japan before no, no. that's that always an exciting yes. new venture oh that's gonna be a lot of fun it's, it's gonna, gonna be great it's we're gonna very go. excited about it yeah but yes so coming back home is always like you have to concentrate yeah. it's the... really nice but it's weird being in the same place for so long and like when you tour so much happens every day mm -hmm. and then you get yeah. back home and you're just like still like there's nothing going oh. it's it's just so weird but it's always really nice to be back home for sure and i think that is something that is very special about this album in particular that's new because we recorded it in our hometown oh really it's yeah first that, that was we did so that. special yeah. for us wow is that sure. like a new producer you were working with for, just for this album uh, um yes. yeah our producer is called Anton DeLost. That's we met him in LA we met him in LA we were like in the middle of a tour and awesome. we had a writing session with him we did not want to go. We were extremely tired. <laughs> like That's we were, awesome. we were finishing the tour, and we were like, "We're so tired. We're so tired." But like, we went there, and Anton was not answering his door. And we're like, "We're gonna leave." Like this guy is not <laughs> out here. And then he opened the door, and then we started working, and we just instantly clicked. Like there was just so yeah. much chemistry, mm. and we wrote a song, and then we wrote another song, and then it was like, "Ah, oh, you should produce." And you we invited him wow. to Monterrey. Like a lot yeah. of producers rarely want to head down to Monterrey, Mexico and like work with us there. Mm. But it was very important for us to like be able to go back home because yeah. I can't yeah. imagine like touring for two months and then, then heading to L.A. and staying there for three know. weeks. And then <laughs> heading back <laughs> on tour. Like, no. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. So Anton was like, I would love to go down to Mexico. So we worked there and it was really special, like sharing our, our culture that way, mm -hmm. working in a place where we had our food. Mm -hmm. We had the people that we loved. We had our culture, we our language. We would sleep in our home. Yes. You know, that was, oh. yeah. It's it was surprising to me awesome. that more producers wouldn't want to do that because I feel like the artists would be more in their element being yeah. where they yeah. feel at home. And, sure. I, I mean, mean, the producers would also feel more in their element being yeah, like with their, their, studios. Studios. their studios. But three like, against you one, it. you guys win. Yeah, exactly. 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 <laughs> Well, I have so many questions, but I would love to know where listeners should start to get to know their music. <gasps> if you want to get to know the warning. Well, Ooh, that's a great question. Okay, so I'm sorry. That's a great where question. Where listeners should start to get to know their music. Where should people start? <gasps> if you want to get to know the warning. Well, yeah. we've, we have 10 years as a band. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. Of, yeah, 2015 yeah. was your first release, that's right? Yeah. yeah. It, oh, my God. It's insane. So there's a lot to wow. pick from. But like, I feel like from right now, you should definitely start with... Um, well, let's start with that song that we wrote like, with, with Anton for the first time. It, yeah. it would be sick. sick. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like sick. Dude, sick is sick is amazing. Like, uh, I, I love sick. sick. Yeah, dude. I, uh, I, I, like love, I love sick. Sick is awesome. Sick is the first song we wrote 
like officially for this album. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like it really encompasses like this new step that we started taking with our music. Like sonically mm -hmm. or just like with the intentionality of it, what is what makes it different? Hmm. Sonically. Sonically, sonically yeah. for sure. Yeah. And also I feel like mentality though. Like we we grew so much uh as people because of we had a lot of experiences from the first uh from the last album that we had to this one we toured a lot we met a lot of new people and i feel like yeah. all of that kind of like made us grow uh, a lot For um sure. so different mentality on how to like let's Approach. say what we want to say yeah um, yeah the stakes are higher when there's yeah. more people watching i think oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. there was a, a new was element a of pressure definitely yeah of like <gasps> okay this is like our I mean, our first album with our record label was Error. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it was during the pandemic. It was just such a weird time. <laughs> yeah. But now yeah. we grew so much over the past two years as a band that we did feel like we have to prove ourselves now. Like we really have to show oh, yeah. that this momentum that we're having, that we've been working on, is culminating into like this just something cool. Good album. Yeah. yeah. Great album. Okay. Amazing yeah. album. Yeah, yeah let's album. go. <laughs> the album. Exactly. Well, I'm curious what sort of like sonic influences you guys were leaning on when you were writing this album then, if it is a bit of a different sound. Ooh. Um, mm. yeah, I think there's a lot of those because we listen to a lot of different types of music. Yeah, do you have different like music tastes? Yes. Well, yeah. between ourselves, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we do appreciate almost kind of like everything, but mm -hmm. I think, uh, well, Ali, you can talk about like your... <laughs> your face. Like, like, what am I going to talk <laughs> about? This is it's not that surprising to yeah, me, but like it. you have this new like wave of like French, like... What is it? French Is it disc? Pop? No, pop. Is it disc jazz? Electro? I don't, Whoa. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like... A lot of people would expect us to only listen to rock, but I feel like that's mm -hmm. that's what makes like writing special. It's like taking all these different influences and you know making them your own, mm -hmm. like applying oh, them yeah. to like your own music. I I, I mean I kind of think it's important to listen to a lot of different genres, like at least in my opinion, because I mean if you listen, I'm, and I, I'm not saying you have to, but I think it's very important as well because you could take a lot of very cool musical ideas, you could take a lot of chord structures, you could take a lot of chord progressions, you could take a lot of just musical ideas and influences, um, different instruments, different nuances that you can have in different genres and different styles. Even if you don't particularly care for the genre, you can even still pull a lot of interesting ideas i've had a lot of songs that i have heard that i don't really care for but i was able to pull a lot of very interesting techniques and ideas from those genres so i actually do think i really agree with the warning here i think that they are spot on with uh, how important it is to just listen to different genres and listen to different you know bands and not just listen to one thing branch out just do stuff different and take those influences where i'm on your shoulder and kind of put them into your own music i think that's a wonderful thing to do in music i love like polo and pan and like l'imperatrice and like a lot of french pop disco i like i listen that is to so it underground most of the time. yeah <laughs> so cool. but i, I really styles. like it like i feel like that's what i listen to most of the time and like somehow you get inspiration from everything you listen to yeah, like, like just, rhythmically and like what they do with their melodies and their phrasing stuff yeah like that. Mm -hmm. i mean i i write music as well um, and I feel Ooh. like the things that I'm influenced by, like I'll sit down to write a song exactly like that and it'll be a completely different genre at the end yeah, of the day. That does For sure. And like, yes, you are trying to emulate the artists that you love, but you're putting your voice at the end of the day, it's just such a different outlet. Yeah. Like you, don't, you don't live these experiences in the same way. You don't hear music in the same way that people totally. Do. Like mm -hmm. It's just such an individual experience. And I feel like that's what makes songwriting so great. Because I have my individual experience and I have mm -hmm. my individual um, references and inspirations. And she has some and she has some. But we are a band. Like We have one same voice at the end of the day right it's one same outlet so the three of us have to mix all of this in like this little melting pot and just make it like Ooh. be the three of us <laughs> and it's it's just such a cool process and with this album we started writing with other people as well okay so adding somebody cool. else who we had never met before into that mix Ooh. and also we we write in english but our creative process is in spanish yes yeah. so like it was so different of having like having to explain to ourselves describe, creatively. Yeah. Oh, that in is English. super interesting. Because yeah. really... if you have an English speaking collaborator, you can't, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It was of... like we would have to like huddle up. It would be like, and, like what's the word? <laughs> find the oh. words to communicate ourselves That's properly. That's tough. That's really and, tough. But it was fun. It's always yeah. fun being like the only Spanish speaking people in Good. the room. Honestly, yeah. it's really cool. Because like 
we can, you can you can say whatever you want, right? Like you can call them like a total jerk, and they have no idea. Like if you're the only one that speaks that language, I mean, it's kind of fun. I need to learn. Like I know a little bit of Spanish. Okay, I know a little bit of Spanish. Uh, I really need to touch up on my Spanish more. But imagine just you being the only people that actually know the language. So you could just you could say whatever you want, and it doesn't really matter because they don't they can't understand you. But anyways, <laughs> that's just kind of a funny point. It's fun being like the only Spanish speaking people in the room. Honestly, honestly yeah. Yeah. it's really cool because like we can be that united front. You know, like we yeah. can be that because um, then it's really confusing for like when another writer comes into the room and mm -hmm. Danny has an opinion and I have another one and she has another one. And they're like, who on the band am I supposed to listen to? What so. do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> listen so. to all of us. <laughs> yeah. 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 So exactly. it's like we have to be on the same page. Right. And that that really helps well, us. Well, to, not like, that we have to be, but we like to be. Yeah. You know? Yes. It's, like, it's less like, confusing. It's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Like we like mm -hmm. to be yeah. at least like in agreement onto like where we're headed. I'm curious, like which do you feel like are each of your strong suits in a songwriting session? Like, do you have, <gasps> like, is someone a better top liner? Does someone prefer to focus on like rhythm? Ooh. Right. Well, yeah. I was definitely the creative, like yeah. mind in it. I feel like, well, I feel like I'm the engine in some sort of way. Yeah, oh, I know you are. Okay. Like, you started out and yes. then like, engine when, is quite a when, word for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And no, but, Actually, it makes sense. That's like yeah. it makes sense because like yeah. you you get it going, and with your ideas and like with your base, like that gets. Danny, far as, like yeah, just like moving. Yeah, Pound does a yeah. lot. Well. She yeah. does a lot. All of them do, but yeah, Ooh, yeah. I like yeah. That. the engine. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so official. Um, but in these songwriting sessions, like sometimes we would like be top lining for such a long time, mm -hmm. like hours and hours of just top lining, and for me right now, I feel like that's my favorite part of songwriting. Just it's like really having cool. a good, because I feel like you can, if you have a good top line, everything yeah. will, will just fall into place. Fall yeah. That's true. Into yeah. Place. So yeah. my goal for like in this point is like to become like the absolute most amazing and like flawless, seamless, mm. smooth top liner <laughs> in the world. Oh, wow. Like, I Look just want to be able to. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. I'm going to, I'm sorry. Did you hear the sass? She put some sass on that. Just, just a little bit of sass. So just listen to that. This That's point is like to become like the absolute most amazing and like flawless, seamless, smooth top liner <laughs> oh. in the world. Like I'm I just want to see sass, no world. spice on that. I love it. Sick. That's manifest. It's fun. I like that. I totally sure. hear that though. I feel like obviously production lends itself a lot to like the way the song is uh, oh, perceived yeah. by the audience. Absolutely. But if you can like take away everything and just play a song acoustically. And have it be a good song. Yeah, I think that's like that's timeless. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Oh, are your yeah. roles in the songwriting session? Well, you know what? I think Ale is definitely the biggest decision maker. When we have like, Ooh. oh yeah, we have oh, like wow. a thousand options for everything. She's just like, we need to pick one, and she just like knows which that's one. That's so weird. I, feel like wow. I hate decisions. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I do because I hate making decisions. But when it comes to that, actually, like. I listen to things and I'm like, that's that's horrible. Like, yeah, I just like, and she can say like that. Yeah, that's so important. That's so important. Because like, you will get lost brain. in yeah. the it's millions weird. of options that you have, and you kind of like are attached to all of them. And Ella can be yeah. like, it's this. Yeah. Ta -da. Yeah. The mediator. Right. Um, for you, I feel I don't I don't know how to say it without it sounding like weird, <laughs> but say you're weird, the then. one <laughs> who like is constantly like spouting things out. Mm -hmm. Like, all the time. Um, I yeah. If I am the engine, Danny's like the fuel. Like she. Ooh. ooh look at me. Look at these analogies. Ooh, but these metaphors. I feel like wow. sometimes when I have an idea, sometimes I don't. Ha I can't find the things that I'm looking for, and Danny's just constantly saying every single little thing that comes to her mm -hmm. mind when we're songwriting. That's right. And we have Google Docs. And like she's always in the dock, just like writing, even if it's nonsense. But that that yeah. stuff leads you somewhere. It usually is. Yeah, it, all, it <laughs> usually yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But out of that nonsense, you you like, like you start. Yeah, you start doing little yeah, things. Yeah. me. Yeah. Oh. Nice. This is Same. so beautiful. Yes, I like we're such a good team. I love it. Were yeah. you guys close growing up too? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, That's I can kind of see that. It would yeah. be insane if we were in and we're just like actually we one day just clicked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but even. I know that we started doing this since we were like really super young. tiny, but even Babies. before that, I do remember just being like, 
Yeah, yeah, we've always been best friends. We've like, always been. I mean, Poe and I, I do remember this. When we were really young, That's like, good. we didn't get along. Like, <laughs> if we were five minutes, like, with each other, we would fight, like, all the but time. But I just want to give the context like, that, like, we're talking about when she was four yeah. and I was six. Yeah. Like, like, like she took young. my crayon kids. or whatever. <laughs> we would kids, kids, all kids. The time. Wait, what's but the age difference? So two years? And two, two years. years and two years. Yeah. Okay. Well, almost three. Almost three. Almost three. You're right. Right. Between us. Yeah. That's yeah. like just close enough where you are like at the best friend age exactly. where you all yell at each it, other. It, mm -hmm. it was just like so <laughs> serendipitous. Okay, I need you. I need you guys to tell me in the comment section down below. Is Ali the tallest member of the warning? I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because she's sitting more straight than everyone else, but she just looks taller than everyone else. Like I don't know. It's kind of random. It has nothing to do with anything. But I don't know. Is Ali the tallest member of the warning? Just let me know. Everything. <laughs> but um, but yeah, we get along just great, and I feel like. Since we've always had that connection when we're working in any single like every single aspect of our jobs we know each other so well and we generally just mm -hmm. always want the what's best for each other yeah so even if it like i know that my sisters will push me do, doing things that maybe i'm like not super comfortable with but i know that it is like for my like best for me interest, to grow yeah. best interest thank you mm -hmm. and we will do that for each other and also like we're always just so together in the sense that we we grow together. Like yeah. All these experiences mm. instead of like, I feel like it's super easy in this industry to have these experiences make you grow apart because you start um, living so much and you live it in such a different way. Like there's no way to go through all that touring, all those experiences and live them in the same way. Like no there's way. no way. Yeah. But for us to be living it in a different way, but still like Connecting connect with it. within it and like be able to see like, I see you, I see you. They see me and just grow that way together. I feel mm -hmm. like it's just, it's that, that's what being sisters is about, I think. Yeah, it's like uh, blood family, but also chosen family. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. That's Thanks, guys. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Great, so man. supportive. Well, I would love to know what song off of the album would represent like this era of you. What is the entree of the mm. warning? Mm. The entree, dun dun dun. That's so true, yeah. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it can be multiple too. I mean, three members in this okay. band, so. But I was thinking yeah. about, like we, we kind of talked about like we were gonna yeah. choose, but I feel like we should switch the ones that we said. <gasps> oh. Okay, talk about it. Cause like okay. you I, said, you. surprised me, like, yeah. That um, represents us That right represents now. this mm. new era of mm -hmm. like, it's like our best foot forward, you know? Like for mm -hmm. me, so that would be automatic, automatic sun. sun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Automatic sun is beautiful. By the way, I'm sorry, I'm trying to I'm skipping for copyright reasons. Um that's why I'm putting little cuts in between. But Mm -hmm. of what we've been doing over the past 10 years and what we want to do for the next 10 years in like perfect one mix. song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know where I'm getting these like <laughs> yeah, incredible one liners from, but <laughs> I'm what we couldn't for do for like a song, we could yeah, do it. Yeah, we later. exactly, exactly. <laughs> we we searched for the one liner song for the whole record, but yeah. when we did we're not either. able to get it. Not this oh, time. No. Not a <laughs> single not time. time. Not this time around. It'll come when you're not shit. searching for it. Exactly. exactly. That's we always said that. That's what we landed on. It's like, you know what? It will come to us when it needs to. It also, never there are one-liners throughout this album. <gasps> if you, you say, say so. so. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The um the what's the one that starts with hell? Oh, you call a dream? Oh, you call a dream. I mean, oh, that, that's a oh, line okay. in itself. Oh, yeah. 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 You're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, hell you call a dream is one of my favorite songs on the album. I don't know. It just has such a punch. Everyone talks about Automatic Sun. The warning themselves talk about Automatic Sun. Automatic Sun is really good, but How You Call a Dream to me is like really punchy. Like I really like it. I don't know. I just I just think the How You Call a Dream thing is just like so Oh man, I don't know. I just love it. I love it so much. Like I like for me, I think How You Call a Dream right now is like one of my favorites like on the album. I love it. Like not good yeah. enough, uh, but fine. Yeah. <laughs> so but what okay. is the mix in Automatic Sun that we're getting? Like the mm. the past, the warning and the new the warning. You know what? I think um in this album not that we didn't before but we kind of like let ourselves let loose a little bit more mm. you know mm. have fun with the the musicality of it and the themes because you know as non-english speakers like native speakers mm -hmm. we kind of like always had to like express ourselves like we know how to use the language we have to like, like we can write yeah. deep yeah. meanings and always and we just kind of like you know what in this album we're just gonna like say what needs to be said actually like yeah. make it simpler it's, it's yeah like be a little bit fun. more on the nose i feel like 
mm-hmm. people take simplicity as a negative thing sometimes but oh, writing totally. so simple hard. lyrics that say what they need to say is so it's freaking so hard. hard so much so hard. harder oh absolutely i i 100 actually agree with this i have done this a lot with my songs and it is much more difficult than like is much more difficult than one could imagine and i also agree that i think a very simple thing can be much better in fact when you take a look at like some really popular songs i mean there are there are a lot of like very popular songs that just they just aren't about like that much when when you when you really think about it right like they're they're just kind of like a, a lot of them right i mean there's like you know sweet child my guns and roses just kind of a simple love song um you know uh there there are just there are quite a few i mean and i could you know i could go on and on uh, there are so many songs where you don't even realize like what the song is about where it's like this is just kind of this is just very repetitive, but it's like, but it's very hard to write about simple, like just simple lyrics about like simple things. It can be very hard to do that. And I feel like it's not, yeah, I totally agree with uh, Pow here. I, I, I really do agree with Pow here. She is like, so right. She is like on the nose, right? Lyrics that say what they need to say is so it's freaking so hard. hard. So yeah, much really harder is. than like so poetic harder. stuff. It's so sure. much harder than Ugh. like to invent some type of metaphor and have people figure it out on the, by themselves. <laughs> yeah. So like, no, that's so actually true. Actually saying what you need to say. Without In it, the space sound, that you have yeah, to say it. sounding oh, cheesy yeah. or whatever. It was such a challenge for us. Like, it was something so new. Yeah. But it was, like, we did let loose. We were, like, we okay. Did. So, automatic sound for me, the way that it represents, like, what we did and what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like there is that pop sensibility in the, in the melodies. Mm. But it is, like, there's such a it's hard heavy. hitting riff yeah. throughout the whole song all the time. And then you have those breaks where Ale and I, like you fall back into Ale and I, mm-hmm. like we're just playing, you're just singing. That yeah. is like such an emblematic thing that we do. Like it's just, your it's voice shines for a second. Mm-hmm. And then like that outro, Ooh, the it's outro. just like, outro. Boom, the like outro. it hits you. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a power moment, which it's I feel really represents us like live. Yeah, for so sure. So I feel like it's very encompassing nice. of what we do. It has a little bit of everything. I think one of like, the comments that most hit me that I read throughout uh, the release of Automatic Sun is mm-hmm. like, it's so weird that this song is a song that I can dance to, but also headbang to. Like, oh. it's that kind of weird mix. Awesome. And we're like, you know what? Yeah, that, was that. Yeah. that was a point. That was a point. That's cool. <laughs> that is so great. I feel like we don't, especially with like an all female band, we don't like get a pop rock blend, truly. Mm-hmm. Like the industry wants us to be fully rock Metallica or, or yeah, fully yeah. pop, like pop star. Yeah. And yeah. I just, I love this. Like it's yeah, distortion. Yeah, but then I do also too. like the pop melodies. Mm-hmm. So it incredible. It can work. Yeah, yeah for thank sure. You. It can work. Oh, yeah. And I love what you said about like power representing your live performance. Mm-hmm. I watched the VMAs videos killer thank you yeah. <laughs> you all did the same exact thing <laughs> you yeah. all tilted your head we're Sister together all the time and it shows you're linked yeah. you're linked yeah. you have tours coming up question mark mm. we yes. do we all do <laughs> i'm i'm gonna be honest with you i'm so lost on the actual dates that we have because like, i think so yes, we're about Eris. to head out to japan yes in june yes but then Summer. For, for summer, we're doing a European festival run. We also have a little Ooh, few headliner, headliners sprinkled around. But I know that we're doing the U.S. and in, in fall. 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 Can't give exact dates because I don't know them. But and I know that we're okay. doing the fall. It's very new. It's Your very publicist new. Yes. knows them. Yes. 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 And, and she'll put all the lists. Yes. And then no, we're yes. doing Canada. <laughs> And, and we're, doing we're doing Canada, Canada with, with Evan Essence and Hailstorm. Whoa. Which yeah. is, we Dang. toured with Hailstorm before. And Huge was names. Oh my amazing. God. Amazing. It was so much fun. Really big okay. names. And now we're going with Evanescence and Hailstorm to Canada. We mm-hmm. love Canada. We're Damn. kind of afraid of the cold. cold. We're from Mexico. Oh. And we've ah, always yes. toured in like fall, winter, and it has mm. not been kind to us <laughs> no. at all. Mm. So hopefully we break our, our Canadian I mean, weather has, curse. October has been the earliest that we've done it maybe oh no, we, no we've done it we, in the summer we but we've summer. also gotten sick you're right. like canada just likes to get us sick but you know what <laughs> we love canada we, we love, love going there love so it's it. always like we're probably gonna get a fever and mm-hmm. we're probably gonna be playing while we're very sick but you know what we're all gonna gonna love go, it. Canada. it's Let's all go worth there. it it's yeah. worth that it. is so cool that you're playing with evanescence yes. mm. were you guys Huge, gonna stay man. satisfied for your dessert track yes <gasps> okay well yeah. i'm gonna bring it there But yeah, Satisfied is great, too. Okay, okay. let's go. Let's go.
Go, I feel yeah. like there is that element with the harmonies, especially. Mm. It reminds me of all like the early 2000s mm. female fronted like emo groups okay. that I would listen yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know Company of Thieves? Did you listen no, to them? No. There's this great song called Death of Communication that was like okay. my shit growing up. Okay. And it reminded me of that. But also like I'll totally to evanescence. To it. it sounds okay. like a super interesting title. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's so that sounds good. like a good song. <laughs> um Satisfied is one of those songs that just felt so much like us like mm -hmm. it was just such, born in such a natural way mm. and um for me so we started playing because of the rock band the video mm. game the rock band yeah, oh, of course yeah. that's how we became a band literally yeah. and um we would constantly like play paramore songs on the rock band Queen. and for me when i think of rock band i think of like playing one of paramore songs on that video game and while we were recording this song it was like okay this feels like a rock, rock band, band song, song. Like, sure. this could be on the rock band and when we practice it i just close my eyes and i can see that little screen and i'm yeah, like we made it work <laughs> yeah. like it just feels like it would belong there it would live there and we have like those three-part harmonies which i feel yeah very much like us, the three of us sing. So like, yeah, we work I have there. a solo on You the have song. a solo. Hey. Oh my God. Yes, it's you do. Fun. It's very fun. Cause I use like this whammy mm -hmm. uh, to play the high octave and it, that's just Ooh. so much fun. And Adam and I play like the whole song, like together. I don't know how to explain it, but we're playing almost the same pattern, like throughout the whole. Yeah, you're like matching the same song. rhythm. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so cool. practicing that has been quite And all the fun. stops we do and we're just like, are they it's on hard. time? Are they not? It's hard. Like, <laughs> it, it, technically, it's not like the hardest song that we have, yeah, but playing mm -hmm. it correctly, like grooving correctly, doing all the stops how they should be. That's the yeah. hard part. Making yeah. it feel right. Yeah. It's but, the groove. It's like mm -hmm. you can be playing all the right parts, but not be locked in. Exactly. exactly. So, so we're in the process of locking in for this new album, Ooh. which we're doing Whoa. on the road, yeah. which is like we're the only rehearsal time that we have is in sound checks. Check. Oh my God. Yeah. So we have like yeah. 15 minutes before the meeting greets, and we're like, just practice, just practice. Wow. And <laughs> it's been insane but honestly there's also such a like an exciting part of like you know what we haven't practiced this and people mm. can't know that like we have to play it correctly yep. yes or oh, yes yeah. and like going on stage and you do get it right mm -hmm. oh mm. that that's quite the feeling there's oh dude i get that feeling that feeling is so good where you're like oh crap i have not practiced this at all and then you go up there and it's like you kill it dude i've done that like several times where i'm like oh crap i haven't practiced these things and then it's like Oh, I actually did pretty good. It's a fantastic feeling. On stage sure. and you do get it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. that, that's quite the feeling. For There's sure, something for sure. about being on stage that like it all just comes together. Yeah. I, well, most of the time. Yeah, really. I'm just remembering all the times where it hasn't. Where they have, like, <laughs> well, of course, the thing that you practice the most then goes wrong when you're on yes, stage. Like, that's oh, yeah. That's a habit. For sure. Or that your mind goes blank and I'm like, what are the lyrics to the song? The song that I wrote. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. That's happened. Of course. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> so you so can't think on stage. I, you can't. No thoughts. No. Yeah. Mm. Tune out. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a couple of closing questions for you guys. Yeah, I'm curious. Talk about opening up for Avril Lavigne in France. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude. I love Avril Lavigne. I actually didn't know this. Um, Dude, man, that is awesome. Dude, that is that is huge, man. Talk about opening up for Avril Lavigne in France. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's kind of like a big... Uh, for no reason, for I'd love to ask you about when you opened up for Avril Lavigne. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're, we're, we're about, about to. to. We yeah. opened wow. for her in July. In oh, July. Okay. In France. In France. That's, That's so random. random. That is yeah. so random, but it's so cool. We can't wait. To sometimes do that. I'm so sorry. I can't believe we haven't mentioned it because, yeah. but there's just so much in our schedule sometimes that I forget. But when we got that news, like we were in so a green room and yeah. we're just like, that's and we couldn't stop talking challenge. about it for that whole like wow. thing. Yeah. yeah we My inner that. child, like, would never, like, I would be at peace. Yeah. Like, yeah. same. I feel like once we're there, we're going to be like, freaking out. Hit, we're going to hit like, me. You're going to, like, hang out with her probably. You well, think? hopefully we get to say yeah. hi to her. I'll be happy with just saying like, hi, hi. you're the coolest. Thank you're you. in the flesh. Yes. yes. Wow. It's exciting. Very God. exciting. We're oh. honored, honestly. I hope you guys yeah. do like a joint photo shoot together. I feel like your vibes okay. really, really well. Well, That's let her know. Like, hey, yeah. do you want to just take photos <laughs> You'll together? DM. Hello, yeah. Miss Levine. <laughs> yeah. Abby, Abby, like said, if we could have a photo shoot. <laughs> Me belt yeah. free. Yeah. 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 I love oh, this. Okay. My closing questions. I would love to know if your music was a candle, what would it smell like? 
Oh, no one has ever asked us that. Okay, yeah, actually, I, like, I am so such a fan of candles. Such a special question. I love candles. That's okay. We've been kicking okay. each other. Um, something with amber, because yeah. I just freaking love amber. I love amber. Like, amber it just has well. to be there. Um, I feel like you know more about candles than I do, but I, I, I will resonate okay. it, with that. It's like a rock candle. And I, I know that, like, like tougher scents have, like, sandalwood or whatever, but I don't like sandalwood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking this very seriously. Very seriously. Something with amber. Vanilla. Mm. Vanilla. Let's let's it's put very vanilla neutral. in there. It's, it's very, very neutral. But like super nice. Like mm -hmm. it just it's a scent that everyone likes. And I uh, want to be a band that everyone likes. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Amber and vanilla candle. There you go. Okay. And I think it would go like on a on a three piece kind of like three oh, candles. Three oh. candles. Yeah. Yeah. There's three, three of candles. us. Go ahead. Let's just go. I feel like it should also have a wood wick so it like makes a crackling sound. <gasps> I love that. I like love that. that. Okay, we just made the best candle ever. <laughs> we just, we need to start candle. making these. Let's, I'm like, I'm gonna actually, start put it on our merch yeah. store. Yeah, let's yeah. write that down so we can yeah. start selling merch. <laughs> we'll give you your cut for sure. No, you do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would also love to know what your favorite sounds are right now that are not music. <gasps> okay. Oh, I don't know if this counts as music, but there's just something about a wind chime. Oh, yeah. That just, it just makes me feel so good. It's just yeah. really awesome. I love it. Mine is very I'm so excited about these questions because they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm very into ASMR. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, really? There is this lady Never who's knew called that. the Wood Wood Soup Lady. I've and, seen her. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So she just has a bowl made out of wood and she puts water in it and then she starts throwing like little yep. like marbles but made out of wood. And she has a wooden spoon and she's just like I came across the TikTok live once and I was like, oh, who watches this? You're like, <laughs> and stay. I kept that Actually, on for like 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I fall asleep to that. I love it. It's so good. Fantastic. So good. Yeah. I feel like the best. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about ASMR in the comment section. I'm kind of mixed about ASMR. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. Just pff, let me know if you guys like ASMR in the comment section below. For me is when it's nighttime and you're going to sleep. And there's like thunder outside Ooh. and rain, oh, and you just hear like the wind and the trees and like you set it up. Yeah, it's so soundtrack. nice. No, it's, Dude, that's a good one. That is a fantastic example. I love the rain. I love the thunder. Rain, like when you're going to sleep, is like one of the most underrated things ever. Like when you can hear like the the wind. Yeah, the tree. Dude, that's one of the most underrated things on this entire planet. That is a common all aw. I feel like that's the best way to sleep. It's love just it. like with thunder like outside. It is. I love it. I it's so storm now. peaceful. It's so peaceful. It's weird because it's not peaceful, but it is thunder. No, but you yeah. snuggle up it's to it. So it's so nice. Good. I yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah. Right, cool. Damn. That makes me sad because we don't get a lot of storms in. Oh, we don't, we don't get. Any. Any. Yeah. We're in a you drought. Do, I'll like make myself stay up to listen to it. Oh, yeah. that's good. Wow. That's that's dedication good. right there. <laughs> you love a good thunderstorm. I love it. I love it. Well, my very final question for you guys is who are your ones to watch? Who are you listening to that I should be listening to? Oh, Ooh. my God. Okay. I like that. Okay. Um, um, okay. You go first. Yeah. I feel like they're going to be really varied. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's watching her right now. I, I don't feel like I need to, like people to, to know that I listen to I her, but Chapel say. Rowan. I knew that's what you were going to say. I adore yeah, her. Say. I love her so much. I've been <laughs> following so her wow. for like years Already and guessed. years. And now that people are like, getting like her hype mm -hmm. i'm so excited about it because she totally deserves it she's an amazing artist i'm super excited 100%. to see what she does in the what's expecting like that? you guys know my answer yeah. i'm gonna go with l'imperatrice they're a french band Ooh. and they're i feel like if you see them live it's just i've never seen better musicians live they're just so good wow. live and their vibe is great just love insane. them Ooh, wow. that's exciting okay. and i'm just gonna say because oh, I feel like they deserve so much hype, but Eruca Sativa, they're a band from Argentina. <gasps> yes. Oh, cool. So they're incredible rockers. They're also a, three, a trio. Mm. Um, and I, I just want to, yeah. I, like yeah, the world, push them to the front. The world is they're amazing. So good. Yeah. So good, oh, sure. I'm gonna listen to both of those. Already yes. a chapel stand yeah, for sure. Course. But oh, this is exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys yeah. for being here so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It was we had fun. such a great time. Thank yeah. you for the great question. Yes, yes. Thanks, guys. Thank Have you. the Thank best you. time on tour and congrats on the yeah. album. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yeah, you deserve all the good things. Oh, that's very kind. Muchas gracias. Yes. Once again, this is Once to Watch Chef's Choice. I'm Abby Kenna, and this is the warning. Thank you so much. You've been warned. Nice. Yes. <laughs> That's an actual thing. Like, Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a OG thing. Fandom, it's a like, thing. Like, everyone like, would be like, warned. You've been warned. Wait, I didn't know that. Really? I, I was like, she did her research. Yeah. I'm just on it. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Oh man, dude. Yeah, that was um that was really good. I love that. That was really cool. I love the little points that they made like throughout the video. I really agree with Pal that it is, man, it is difficult to write about simple lyrics. Like it, it really is. Like just try to do it and yeah, it's 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 one of those things that's just very difficult to do. Um but man, that was that was great. I love how they are just so genuine with their answers. Like whenever they they really take the time to think about it a lot of the time um, whenever they're asked any sort of question. And these were some interesting questions, too, because I've reacted to quite a few, like, interviews and documentaries and whatever uh, you want to call it. But it's really cool uh, to just know that they always consider their – they take the question, they consider it, and then they answer it. And it's really cool, and it's honestly really awesome to learn more about them. Um, and it's awesome to know that they're going to be touring with Avril Lavigne. I guess they probably already did by now. I actually don't really know. Um, but they, that is like super awesome. And I'm actually very curious because this is where I want you guys to come in. This is where I want the audience to come in. I want you all to tell me, I really want you to tell me, is there a band that you think are anything like the warning are the warning really that unique i just want i want you all to tell me in the comment section down below because there are a lot of bands um going around right now and you guys are so passionate about the warning and i'm just really really curious so yeah let me know in the comment section below also i need you guys to tell me uh what songs i should listen to uh, next um i'm going to I plan on in the future, I'm going to react to all the warnings albums um, in order. So I'm going to try to go all the way from the first album all the way to the latest album, Keep Me Fed. So let me know if I should do that because I would really, really honestly love that idea. But I just want you all to let me know if you would be interested in that idea because I would absolutely love doing that because um, it's really it's really cool because I think the warning, they are great people. They are great musicians, really good people. And uh, I just really want to react to, like, all their albums in order because I think it would be cool to do that. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. And uh, that's about all I have for you today. I know this is a longer video. But thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, especially if you've made it up to the, if you've made it up to this point in the video. Then what are you doing if you're not subscribed already? I mean, this has been a long video. And, uh, man, I, I would just really appreciate you all so much if you, you could subscribe. It, it means a lot to me. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. You all take care. Stay awesome. And most important, Importantly, rock on.